Chassin, what a difference from his last start. Those numbers, and we've talked Looks like uh, we're having some technical issues. So I apologize. Probably trying to do too much. Um, once again, man, rest, rest in peace to Paul Allen. It's a sad day in the Seahawks and Blazer world. Oh, it's tough. I'm just going to Google search Paul Allen contributions. Because I have heard that uh, as an entrepreneur, investor, and philanthropist, he has done a lot for the globe. So, uh, his biography, as far as biography.com says, entrepreneur and investor Paul Allen was best known for being co-founder of Microsoft with Bill Gates. Who was Paul Allen? Born in 1953 in Seattle, Washington, Paul Allen met fellow Lakeside School student and computer enthusiast Bill Gates when Allen was 14 and Gates was 12. Less than a decade later, in 1975, college dropouts, Allen and Gates founded Microsoft. Allen resigned after being diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease in 1983 and continued to pursue other business, research, and philanthropic opportunities. Phil philanthropic? I can't even think right now. Sorry. Excuse me. According to Forbes, as of 2016, the self-made Microsoft entrepreneur was one of the wealthiest people in America with an estimated net worth of $19 billion. How did Paul Allen and Bill Gates meet? While attending the Lakeside School outside Seattle, 14-year-old Paul Allen met 12-year-old Bill Gates, a fellow student and computer enthusiast. Less than a decade later, in June 1975, Allen and Gates both became college dropouts. Allen, who was from Washington State University, founded Microsoft with the intention of designing software for the new wave of personal computers. By the time Allen arranged for Microsoft to buy an operating system called QDOS for $50,000, the company had already supplied software for emerging companies such as Apple and Commodore. Gates and Allen reinvented QDOS and MS-DOS and installed it as the operating system for IBM's PC, offering which dominated the market after its release in 1981. Allen had a net worth of around $19 billion and was ranked as one of the top 50th richest people in the world in 2016. Uh, heading Yacht, loaned for rescue missions and scientific explorations, Allen's yacht, the Octopus, is one of the largest in the world at over 400 feet long, equipped with two helicopter pads, a pool, and two submarines. In 1983, Allen, known as the Idea Man, counterpart to Gates' Man of Action, resigned from Microsoft after being diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. After undergoing several months of radiation treatment, his health was restored and he had been in remission ever since. In the fall of 2009, Allen received another blow to his health. He had developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and had to undergo more radiation treatments. Luckily, Allen beat this cancer diagnosis as well. In October 2018, Allen revealed that he started treatments for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He passed away October 15, 2018 from complications of the disease. As Microsoft grew and its, steadily, and its stock steadily rose, Allen's share in the company he co-founded made him a billionaire at just 30 years old. Post-Microsoft, Allen began to concentrate on other projects, hoping to find the next big idea lurking somewhere just out of his sight. In 1986, he set up a company called Vulcan Ventures in order to research possible investments. To that end, he founded a Silicon Valley think tank in 1992 called Interval Research. Through Interval Research and Vulcan Ventures, Allen began to put his long-term dream of a wired world society in which virtually everyone is, li is online into practice. His investments were diverse. America Online, SureFind, an online classifieds ad service. Teluskin, Teluscan, an online financial service, Starwave, an online co content provider, hardware, software, and wireless communications. From 1994 to 1998, Allen built an infrastructure of well over 30 different companies in pursuit of his wired world strategy. With Vulcan's 1998 purchases of Marcus Cable and more than 90% of charter communications, Allen became the owner of the nation's seventh largest cable company. 
In 1999, he invested nearly $2 billion in the RCN Corporation, bringing his total holdings in the cable and internet business to over $25 billion. He also had invested a good deal in the production of interactive media and entertainment. In total, Allen had major investments in over 100 new media companies. In 1993, he acquired 80% of Ticketmaster until he sold over half of his stock to the Home Shopping Network in 1997. In late 1999, Allen and Vulcan Ventures agreed to fund Pop.com, an internet entertainment company formed as a partnership between two prominent production companies. Imagine Entertainment, founded by director Ron Howard and, pro and producer Brian Grazer, and DreamWorks SKG, founded by entertainment giants Steven Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, and David Geffen. Allen already had an... Al Allen, already an investor in DreamWorks, reportedly invested $50 billion into the company, which aims to create and distribute short features exclusively on the Internet. Pop.com was set to debut in the spring of 2000, but failed to get off the ground. Allen has also invested in Oxygen Media, a highly touted company co-founded by Oprah Winfrey and dedicated to producing cable and Internet programming for women. Other personal and... <laughs> Philanthropic, philanthropic, philanthropic interests included sports. He owned the NBA's Portland Trailblazers and the NFL's Seattle Seahawks, and music. On June 23, 2000, his Experience Music Project, the MP in Seattle, a $250 million interactive rock and roll museum designed by the architect Frank O'Geary, opened in Seattle. Allen co-founded EMP with his sister, Jody Allen Patton, who serves as the museum's president of the Board of Trustees. <clears throat> in April 2003, he announced he would be spending $20 million to build the Science Fiction Experience, which opened in the summer of 2004. The museum was billed as entertaining and thought-provoking exhibits and programs. Allen had also established philanthropic foundations for the causes of medical research, visual and performing arts, community service, and forest preservation. A dedicated Jimi Hendrix enthusiast, since he, grew, since he first saw Hendrix perform in 1969, Allen played rhythm guitar in a Seattle band called Grown Men. The band released their first CD in the spring of 2000. In 2013, Allen released another album with his band The Underthinkers called Everywhere at Once through Sony. On May 29, 2013, it was announced that Vulcan Productions, Allen's award-winning media company, had signed on as a production partner of Pandora's Promise, the groundbreaking documentary by Academy Award-nominated director Robert Stone. The film premiered at the 2013 Sundance Film Festival to rave reviews and was scheduled to debut in the United States in November 2013 on CNN. According to a press release issued by Vulcan Productions in May 2013, Stone's film tells the intensely personal stories of environmentalists and energy experts who have converted from being fiercely anti to strongly pro-nuclear energy, risking their careers and reputations in the process. Stone expo exposes environmental controversy with stories of defection by Stuart Brand, Richard Rhodes, Gwyneth Cravens, Mark Linus, and Michael Schellenberger, among others. Pandora's Promise presents nuclear power as a hopeful solution to climate change and is opening people's minds about one of the most critical issues of our time. This is exactly the type of thought-provoking project we are proud to partner on and support. Acclaimed filmed films and series from Vulcan Productions including Girl Rising 2013, This Emotional Life 2010, Judgment Day Intelligent Design on Trial 2007, Prescription for Survival A Global Health Challenge 2005, no Direction Home, Bob Dylan, 2005, Strange Days on Planet Earth, 2005, Black Sky, The Race for Space, and Black Sky winning the X Prize, 2004, Lightning in a Bottle, 2004, The Blues, 2003, and Evolution, 2001. In 2014, he pledged $100 million to combat Ebola in West Africa, the same year he founded the Allen Institute for Cell Science, which researches cells in order to understand their behavior and how to fight diseases. Allen has also taken interest in space-time travel and launched Vulcan Aerospace in 2015. Allen lived on Lake Washington's Mercer Island near Seattle. Oh, it's a sad, sad day in the Northwest. Sad day. I'm going to go get a glass of water. And... Uh,
I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. All two of you. I'm back. Did you miss me? Of course you did. That's a silly question. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little heartbroken. That's super sad news. Now I'm just gonna sit here and wait for some people to come in here and give me some stuff to talk about. Thanks for bearing with me. Not being too bored. Restart my computer. What's happening, everybody? I'm just sitting here bored, watching the Dodger game. Just read a biography on Paul Allen, since it's a sad day in the Northwest. 
Paul Allen will definitely be missed by a lot of people. I'm looking up to see if I can find some more information on uh, some of Paul Allen's contributions to the globe. His contributions to humanity. If you got something you want to talk, you want me to talk about, or you want to chat, you want to talk about, bring it up. Post it in chat. I got you. Got you. So the Washington Post posted today, um, just a few hours ago. This is posted by the Associated Press. Um, big ups to freedom of speech, free press. Do not censor the media. We need it. Uh, reaction to the death of Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, who died Monday. Paul Allen's contributions to our company, our industry, and to our community are indispensable. As co-founder of Microsoft, in his own quiet and persistent way, he created magical products, experiences, and institutions, and in doing so, he changed the world. I have learned so much from him. His inquisitiveness, curiosity, and push for high standards is something that will continue to inspire me and all of us at Microsoft. Our hearts are with Paul's family and loved ones. Rest in peace. Um, that was a statement from Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. Bill Gates said, I am heartbroken by the passing of one of my oldest and dearest friends, Paul Allen. From our early days together at Lakeside School, through our partnership in the creation of Microsoft, to some of our joint philanthropic projects over the years, Paul was a true partner and dear friend. Personal computing would not have existed without him. But Paul wasn't content with starting one company. He, he channeled his intellect and compassion into a second act focused on improving people's lives and strengthening communities in Seattle and around the world. He was fond of saying, if it has the potential to do good, then we should do it. That's the kind of person he was. Paul loved life and those around him and we all cherished him in return. He deserved much more time, but his contributions to the world of technology and philanthropy will live on through generations to come. I will miss him tremendously. Again, that was Bill Gates in a statement. While most knew Paul Allen as a technologist and philanthropist, for us he was a much-loved brother and uncle and an exceptional friend. That was his sister Jody Allen. Paul Allen stands as a giant in Washington history for the genius vision that was so important to creating Microsoft with Bill Gates. That he went on to do so much more for our state, nation, and the world puts him in rarefied company. That was Washington Governor Jay Inslee. Paul Allen was the driving force behind keeping the NFL in the Pacific Northwest. His vision led to the construction of CenturyLink Field and the building of a team that played in three Super Bowls winning the championship in Super Bowl in a Super Bowl. The raising of the 12th man flag at the start of every Seahawks home game was Paul's tribute to the extraordinary fan base in the Seattle community. His passion for the game combined with his quiet determination led to a model organization on and off the field. He worked tirelessly among our medical advisors to identify new ways to make the game safer and protect our players from unnecessary risk. I personally valued Paul's advice on subjects ranging from collective bargaining to bringing technology to our game. Our league is better for Paul Allen having been a part of it and the entire NFL sends its deepest condolences to Paul's family and to the Seahawks organization. That was NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. RIP to my dear friend and killer guitar player Paul Allen. Your, generosity, your genius and generosity has and will forever be felt by mankind. That was music mogul Quincy Jones via Twitter. <clears throat> Paul was a remarkable pioneer, a genius philanthropist, and a special partner for us. SKG wouldn't have been possible for us without him. Our hearts and prayers are with him and his family. Steven Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, and David Geffen in a statement. I got to meet David Geffen once. He was a really cool guy. Paul was a true son of Seattle who made his beloved city and our world a better, more vibrant place. For generations to come, Seattleites and people across our planet will benefit from his vision, innovation, and generosity. 
He quite literally helped invent the future. Seattle Mary Mayor Jenny Durkin in a statement. Rest in peace, Paul Allen. National Football League via Twitter. Deeply saddened by the passing of Paul Allen, I'll miss him greatly. His gracious leadership and tremendous inspiration will never be forgotten. The world is a better place because of Paul's passion, commitment, and selflessness. His legacy will live on forever. Seattle Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll. We miss you. We thank you. And we love you. Portland Trailblazers. Big dog, rest easy. Big dog, rest easy as you go home. Paul Allen, prayers for your family. Oakland Raiders running back and former Seattle Seahawk Marshawn Lynch. I will always be thankful for Paul Allen's generosity and his kind heart. He was a genuine and genuine person who cared about humanity all over the world, and it was an honor to be able to learn from and be around such a great leader. Philadelphia Eagles defensive end and former Seattle Seahawk Michael Bennett. Thank you for being you, Paul Allen. Grateful I had the, ch the chance to know you. Seahawks wide receiver Doug Baldwin Jr. Paul Allen was the ultimate trailblazer in business, philanthropy, and in sports. As one of the longest tenured owners in the NBA, Paul brought a sense of discovery and vision to every league matter, large and small. He was generous with his time on committee work, and his expertise helped lay the foundation for the league's growth internationally and our embrace of new technologies. He was a valued voice who challenged assumptions and conventional wisdom, and one we will deeply miss as we start a new season without him. Our condolences to his family, friends, and the entire Trailblazer organization. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver I'm so sorry to hear this. Thank you, Paul, for your generosity towards myself and Darbury. Thank you for the wonderful monument of museum, monument, the Museum of Pop Culture for Seattle Music. You built Seattle into a great city. Rest in peace. Former Nirvana star, Chris Novoselic. Our industry has lost a pioneer and our world has lost a force for good. We send our deepest condolences to Paul's friends, the Allen family, and everyone at Microsoft. Apple CEO Tim Cook. Seattle Sounders FC offers its deepest condolences to the Allen family during this difficult time. We stand united with our community in mourning the loss of one of our region's greatest icons. Paul Allen was a profound public leader, leaving an indelible mark on many aspects of civil life here in Seattle including the growth and success of professional soccer. He will greatly be missed. Seattle Sounders Football Club. Today we mourn the loss of Paul G. Allen, a man of extraordinary vision, leadership, and generosity whose impact on our world is profound. Paul was a true innovator, co-founding Microsoft and launching the revolution that put a computer on every desktop. What many would call a renaissance man, the breadth of his curiosity was a hallmark of his life, whether it was delving into the mysteries of the brain, exploring the promise of artificial intelligence, working to protect endangered species, rocking out on the electric guitar, or cheering on his beloved Seahawks. University of Washington President Anna Marie Koss. And this is just... Over the last few hours, obviously it's new news. Probably within a couple days from now, it's going to be old news. Um, but it's a testament as to what kind of impact Paul Allen had on so very many people. Oh, a man that strove, <laughs> strove, strived, strove. His, his daily goal was to figure out ways to bring technology to the entire globe, to connect the entire world 
so that our minds and our actions and our thought processes can work together to manifest ideas and thoughts that benefited humanity in general. Not many people like him, man. Will greatly be missed. Greatly be missed. Obviously, I'm getting a little emotional. I'm having a hard time going through some of this stuff. Dodger game's not looking good, so I'm just going to turn it off. Maybe that'll help me from lagging. Very sad to hear of Paul Allen's passing. His passion for invention and pushing forward inspired so many. He was relentless to the end. My heart goes out to Paul's family and friends. Jeff Bezos. So sad to hear about the passing of Paul Allen. Among many other things, he was a pioneer of commercial space travel. We shared a belief that by exploring space in new ways, we can improve life on Earth. All our thoughts are with his loved ones. Richard Branson. We lost a great technology pioneer today. Thank you, Paul Allen, for your immense contributions to the world through your work and through your philanthropy. Thoughts are with his family and the entire Microsoft community. Sundar Pichai. I've got to throw this one up here. Give me a second. See the Seahawks guitar pick. Rest in peace, Paul Allen. Thank you for your immeasurable contributions to the community and beyond. Rock on. Posted by Pearl Jam. Sad to hear of the passing of Paul Allen, who was a strong advocate for environmental protection. He and the team at Vulcan played a pivotal role in developing the shark conservation fund alongside LDF. His legacy lives on via his incredible work as a philanthropist and investor, Leonardo DiCaprio. We have lost a friend and a giant. Mr. Allen, thank you for your extraordinary vision, your abundant generosity, and for believing in all of us. By your example, you made us all better, kinder. May you rest in peace. Go Hawks. Anybody that watches football knows who that was, Mr. Russell Wilson. Played a video clip from Walter Jones earlier, but his official statement is, It is with great sadness that I share the news of Paul Allen passing away. No words will ever be enough to tell you what he meant to me and my family, his ability to pioneer healthcare and technology while owning a team that he kept in this city, opened the doors for many of us to make a better life for ourselves. My prayers are with the Allen family as well as the Seahawks family as you mourn the passing of a man who gave a lot to Seattle and the world. And again... Marshawn Lynch, big dog, rest easy as you go home. Prayers for your family. RIP to the man in charge of it all, Mr. Paul Allen. I hope we send you out with the high praises with our victory yesterday in London. You with the most high now, no more pain required. 
Frank Clark. R.I.P. Mr. Paul Allen, I sincerely thank you for all your sacrifices and hard work. You changed countless lives and it's greatly appreciated. Bradley McDougal. R.I.P. Paul Allen, gone way too soon. Thank you so much for your many contributions to society and the sports world. Dwayne Brown. Oh. I read an earlier piece of this. I'll read the whole thing now. Paul Allen stands as a giant in Washington history for the genius vision that was so important to creating Microsoft with Bill Gates. That he went on to do so much more for our state, nation, and the world puts him in rarefied company. Paul was a major philanthropist who believed in giving at home. Seattle is dotted with the results of, of his philanthropy and investments from the unbelievable world of Allen Institute for Brain Science to the preservation of world-class Cinerama movie theater. He brought us a Super Bowl championship, a reverence for Jimi Hendrix, and a vision for Seattle that today is home to some of the world's most innovative biotech research and has been the cradle of the city's economic boom. He cared about the larger world too, stepping up to fight Ebola and working to preserve endangered animals. He exposed the dark depths of the ocean and pioneered privately funded spaceflight. Hey, what up, Doc? Thanks for watching. Getting a little emotional here, so bear with me. Paul was a person who pushed so many intellectual envelopes and expanded human knowledge, and his legacy will live beyond bricks and mortar. So many ways, Paul Allen personified Washington State, innovative, caring, and always willing to fight for equal rights for all. Trudy and I join people all over the world in sending our thoughts to Paul's family and friends. That was a statement by Jay Inslee, governor of Washington. Oh, though Constantine said, His was truly an epic life. As a region, we are dim diminished by his passing, but we are inspired by his legacy to discover our own passions and to share them with the world around us. Oh, he has a four part. <laughs> Maybe I should start at the beginning. I don't see part two, though. R.A.P. Paul Allen, 1953 to 2018, the Microsoft co-founder and philanthropist made significant contributions to naval heritage by funding the expeditions that discovered the wrecks of USS Indianapolis, USS Lexington, USS Juno, and several other historic ships. He pushed the envelope of brain science, helped protect endangered species, created our popular cultural museum, saved our historic Cinerama Theater, created a vast new University of Washington Library, and brought us our first NFL championship, among innumerable other contributions, large and small. His was truly an epic life. As a region, we are diminished by his passing, but we were inspired by his legacy to discover our own passions and to share them with the world around us. I feel blessed. Um, I wasn't born in the Northwest, but I feel blessed to be a part of the Northwest culture, and to have witnessed a lot of the a lot of what all of these people have spoke of, um, being so close to witnessing a lot of these things. I never got to meet Paul Allen. I've been in the same room with him a few times, um, but I never personally got to meet him. I wish I had. Um, I wish I had his his zest and his drive to improve the world around us. The world would be a much better place if I did. But. Guy's gonna be missed, man. So Doc, I don't know if you saw my uh comment on Discord that I, I left you a viewer all weekend long. It was unintentional, but I hope it helped. Stay in this view for a while in honor of owner of the Seahawks.
I'm guessing Doc's on the sidelines, lurking. Which I'm okay with, of you as a view, I appreciate it. It's really hard to get viewers on here sometimes, especially when I feel like I'm getting emotional and and uh, distraught. Sad day. Sad day. Changing the subject again. There's the link right there. Make sure you're registered to vote. If you're not registered to vote, do so. It's too late to register to vote online in Washington. Um, as well as probably many other places around the country. So, do please do your due diligence and figure out how you can still get registered. We're 21 days away from midterms, I believe. Um, and it's, it's vitally important. If we want people to have the freedom to explore the world if we want people to have the freedom to explore brain sciences or cancer sciences, Hodgkin's disease, lymphoma, we need the right people in government. Um, I personally believe that there's probably a lot of different things that could have been done to prevent a lot of cancers in this country. Um, a lot of disease in this country could be prevented if we didn't have a pharmaceutical business an industry that was being ran by government policy and government policy that was being paid for by big pharma um, I think our world would be a lot different I think we would be a much healthier nation if we did not have big money pharmaceutical companies putting money in the pol pockets of politicians to keep things from from progressing so there's a lot of stuff that uh, we as humans could be doing different especially in America I, per I believe that we're still Sounds like I'm getting a bunch of static. So I apologize. We should be paying attention to our Congress people, our senators, to the positions they're taking and make sure they align with ours because if they don't align with ours they're not doing their job their job is to represent us so your local congress people your local senators they are in position to represent you and if they're not representing you and the neighborhood around you and the communities around you then they are failing you and if they're failing you let them know not only let them know make sure that you get people in office that aren't make sure that you get people in office that are going to represent you that's why voting for midterms is more important, if not at very least just as important, but I think it's more important than voting for presidential elections, uh, vitally, so. I do not like the static I'm getting. I'm going to try something. See if the static is still coming through. Uh, Streamlabs OBS is weird sometimes. I know I wasn't getting the static earlier, so I'm not sure where it's coming from. So I'm going to try to figure this out and probably end up ending the stream, restarting the computer, and coming back. Let's try this. See if that makes a difference.
Damn technical stuff. I wish I had Paul Allen money so I could <laughs> buy brand new gear. If you're tuned in, thanks for watching Funk Shop TV. We'll be going live every day from now on. Well, almost every day. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a good looking picture though, huh? Audio test one, two, three, four, five. I think from now on, anytime I'm gonna go live, I need to restart the computer. I have like 13 different browsers open trying to find information on Paul Allen and. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut down. I'll be back. Give it a break. Probably need to go and get my emotions in check. I apologize. It's rough. Um, the Northwest lost a lost a real good man. The world lost a real good man. So thanks for watching. If you haven't watched any of the other episodes, make sure you check them out. YouTube.com forward slash Funk Shop TV. Uh, give us thumbs up or thumbs down. Even if you just scroll through all of the videos and watch it for a few seconds to give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. It lets us know that you're looking at them so it helps motivate us sometimes it's hard to find motivation to keep the ball rolling um, but we're gonna continue to try so thanks for tuning in I appreciate it and uh, I'll be back later hopefully when I come back I'll have uh, Michael or Sean or one of the guys with me Thank you.